from this moment as long as I live I will love you I promise you this there is nothing I wouldn't give from this moment Well, with that said, we are still on their Living by the Spirit message series. Oh, come on, don't act like you don't love that song, because everybody knows everybody loves that song. But this week, we're going to be talking about faithfulness. Yes, faithfulness. Well, Dictionary.com describes faithfulness as follows. True, devoted, faithful, constant, and loyal, which implies qualities of stability, dependability, and devotion. Faithful implies long-continued and steadfast fidelity to whatever one is bound to by a pledge, duty, or obligation. Constant suggests firmness and steadfastness in attachment. Loyal implies unswerving allegiance to a person, organization, cause, or idea. And the Easton's Bible Dictionary describes faith as follows. Faith is in general the persuasion of the mind that a certain statement is true. Its primary idea is trust. A thing is true and therefore worthy of trust you know we live in a world where divorce rate is through the roof we live in a world where people backstab each other all the time i mean if you go to high school you know exactly what i'm talking about we live in a world where no one really knows who to trust anymore because everybody at one point or another has been let down or have gotten their trust broken so this is why you know when you hear somebody's been married for 50 years it's like what my goodness that's amazing and it's really hard to believe that you don't see it anymore at all but when I hear something like that somebody's been married for 20 30 40 years 50 years even you know it really speaks to me and I, I, I like to think of myself man they got something that I need and the same thing is with our faith in Christ you know when the world is so chaotic when everything's going crazy and, and, and chaotic and whatever who do you hold on to you know it's easy to hold on to Jesus when everything's going right but when your life starts to go a little bit south and things don't go as planned and your dreams don't seem to follow through as you thought they were and when all of a sudden you start to get persecuted for your faith do you still hang on to Jesus or do you move on to something else maybe something a little bit more stable as per se you know the world out there they're just looking for something to believe in for someone to believe in for, they're looking for hope literally in anything or anyone or any places that are willing to offer them hope but as believers we have that opportunity to be able to offer that hope to people see your faithfulness to christ your faithfulness and allegiance to jesus to say hey no matter what happens i'm going to stick to this guy not because of what he has to offer to me or, or, or what i have to gain from him but rather because he died for me and because i need him you know with your faithfulness you have the opportunity to show people that he is worth trusting and he is worth putting our trust into you know and very often a lot of times i'll hear people say you know well, i don't believe in jesus because you know there's so many different uh, religions out there how do you know which one is the real one the worst excuse I've ever heard of anybody not coming to Christ and not wanting to put their hope in Jesus was because of the example that other Christians have set you know that one day they're all following Jesus like yeah Jesus 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 and then one day everything starts to go wrong and like you know what Jesus you know whatever blah, blah, blah. where were you God in this time where were you he wasn't there he's not faithful blah, blah, blah. but whether you know it or not your faithfulness and allegiance to Jesus can bring people to Christ and I will prove it to you on Friday so come out on Friday come check out uh, our youth group come check out what this is all about like I said we're still on our living by the spirit message series and we're looking at um, the seventh fruit of the spirit which is faith so why don't you come out come have some fun with us it'll be fantastic I promise you you won't regret it. Well, obviously, guys, see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye.